Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sorrow. Thanks for tuning in to another wonderful video today guys. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm going to talk about what actually went wrong with Destiny. And I don't mean like like it's a bad game, but I mean like where they really messed up at. They really got everyone hopes up with the uh with the trailers including me, with showing gameplay at E3 and everything like that. But they messed up on a, a few different things, and I'm actually going to name those things. I'm, I'm going to weigh in the pros and the cons because my brother asked me this question. I had a couple friends at work ask me this question, so it kind of it's kind of a, a, a variant feeling on how I feel. I like the game, but I feel that it wasn't very innovative, and this is what I mean. So the good thing about Destiny is the game is well balanced when it comes to multiplayer. If you think about it, you can have a level one gun, and you can still outpower people that is level 30 on the multiplayer. So they give everyone a fair shot when it comes to the multiplayer um also you can play with your friends and they have things like the rate and strikes besides that and that's a customization when it comes to armor but that's really the pros to destiny destiny had a well bungie had a budget of 550 million dollars but i don't feel like they really use 550 million dollars and this is what i mean okay if i had to create a game and have 550 million dollars there'll be way more innovative things into the game and this is why i'm saying that if you think about it each planet has about six missions and one strike per planet and each mission is pretty easy and it can be quite repetitive but i feel that it really didn't put no ideas behind it now this is why i'm saying that if i had to make a game such as like bungie made destiny i would actually create where each planet has their own type of armor and this is why i'm saying that they want you to loot each planet for one type of material which i think is obviously really stupid i will put five different materials on each planet where so you can actually mold together your own armor and this is what i'm saying by this so let's say for instance you're a person that loves to roam earth a whole lot right so why don't you get five different materials on earth where so you can actually put the materials together and put together your own armor in doing so so then let's say earth armor will give you plus two agility or plus three agility earth everything different on each planet will give you something differently but you can create your own armor create Creating each planet to have a certain unique type of thing so you can farm on each planet more and then you can make specific type of um, material that only comes and goes on certain type of days or specific type of time so people cannot farm on that planet every day in a day in a day out to max out earth armor within a day where so it would take them a lot of time and to do so including with the raids and a strike I will at least put at least two strikes on each planet I'll put a regular strike which was like the level base strike and then I'll put at least a level 30 strike on each planet to make it highly competitive and basically it adds replay value not just oh let's beat the strike and boom is done oh you guys you want to get an easy strike let's play the chromodome strike on level eight and it's really that easy i really don't believe in that and i think that's where the ideas really lacks at now when it comes in did they create really good ideas they did but then they want you to loot so much but it's really nothing to loot for I understand they didn't want to add more than one exotic because you didn't want to be overpowered. They didn't want to overpower you. But then what's the point of farming for so many exotics if you can't really have multiple exotics on? If you were going to invent something with exotics, I would at least do this. You can have one primary exotic where so you could take the skills from that exotic. Then a second exotic that you put on, you can't take the skills from, but you can still kind of have the defense from. So for prime example, let's say if you have exotic boots on, right? The exotic boots on give you plus three agility, right? If I want to put exotic armor on, instead of me having plus three discipline, it will take the discipline completely away because I want my boots to be my main primary. But at the same time, I can wear multiple exotics. Same thing applies to the weapons. Like you should be able to carry multiple exotic weapons. I understand they say it to be OP'd, but then you should be able to have at least a primary weapon base. So then, for example, the Galahorn can track people, right? But if I want the, let's say, the Icebreaker on, the Icebreaker can't have reload like you know auto reload damage like you have to actually pick up bullets for it and reduce the impact something like that and then you have zero that sells the exotic weapons so for people that actually stand out there and farm and farm and farm and farm and farm and got these exotic weapons the zero sells them kind of beats the point of farming if zero is going to sell a weapon it should be a whole different type of weapon and this is another prime example let's say for instance i farm for the galahorn right I get the Galahorn. When I get the Galahorn, what happens is I'm able to track people and do everything like that. But let's say when Zero sells the Galahorn, it loses out a couple of abilities. For example, instead of it having tracker tracker clusters, it could just have regular cluster bombs. Instead of it having a high a fast velocity, it has a high reload speed. 
like you switch it up instead of it being the same exact weapon because again you defeat the purpose like yesterday my good friend unlocked the patience in time and then Zerg comes around and sells the patience in time kind of a waste in my opinion destiny i see the the route that bungie was going but they messed up in so many different ways that they kind of spoiled the game especially on how they were promoting the game so i think there's a little bit or a lot of things they can actually increase on especially when it comes to the loot system if you want us to loot have a purpose to loot if you want us to play on a specific planet for specific material add different materials so that we can make our own weapon if i love earth i could be able, i should be able to make earth gauntlets earth arm armor earth boots earth uh, you know so you could tell that i'm a pure earthling i should be able to mold together my guns with earth materials if i want mars i should be able to make uh, mars material to increase my discipline or venus to increase my intelligence that is my one honest opinion guys so tell me what you think where do you think destiny messed up at do you agree how destiny is do you think it's a really good game or after putting so many days and hours into it, you kind of feel that it's not even worth it. And guys, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Now, Advanced Warfare do come out tonight, and I will be putting up gameplay of that as well. Now, I am pretty stoked about Dark Below. I want to see how that's going to turn out, but we'll see if Bungie messed up on that DLC as well. Again, guys, please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm out. Peace!